little road trip and it's a very exciting road trip. Why is it? Well, you probably already seen the title, but today we are getting our mini golden doodle. Ellen, you excited? Absolutely. Oh, I'm literally so excited. Um, so a little backstory. This is an F2B mini golden doodle. We're actually meeting with a boy dog and a girl dog. We are leaning more towards the girl dog just because of her temperament and you know just being really drawn to her in the FaceTimes we've done with the family and her photos but you just never know so if the boy ends up making his way to our family we'll of course love you um, a little backstory I have wanted to talk kind of in this genre for about two years now and I helped take care of my friend's dog when we lived together in the pandemic and I just absolutely love dogs and it was kind of coming to a point where with Alan and I being together now in Columbus and I don't know just everything falling into place with schedules and everything I just started looking for fun um, but mentally very prepared and then things just started happening right Alan <laughs> Very quickly. <gasps> Very quickly. Like overnight quickly. Very quickly, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. So um, basically I've been doing a lot of research on YouTube and on different sites and seeing what was available in our area. Kind of leaning towards, okay, we'll get a dog closer to winter time, which I would much prefer a dog in the summertime so you can take them outside and just be really active. But you know, it is fall already in Ohio, so the weather is kind of changing already and you know, those websites, you never want to buy a dog from a puppy mill, and it's really hard to know which breeders are right. Um, I personally didn't know that many golden doodles were so hot right now. I just really loved the breed that I was seeing and the traits that I was reading about online. Loved the idea of poodles being really, really smart breeds, and then um, golden retrievers obviously being super loving and calm and just the mix between the two. I was originally looking at Cavapoos and Cavasoos, um, but I wanted a slightly bigger dog. So what happened was I'm going to all these websites. I'm thinking, Ellen, I'm kind of overwhelmed. Like maybe I'll just put it away and not really think about this. And then at 1.30 in the morning, what happened, Ellen? <laughs> showed me pictures of these dogs that were available. Yeah, so basically, thank you Instagram. I am all for the targeted ads, I really don't care. Um, I would prefer to get ads that are more tailored to what I want and basically that's what happened. I got an alert about Cleveland mini golden doodles and we live in Columbus, Ohio, so that's only two hours away. I'm always in Cleveland visiting my family or going to events, so I went to their Instagram and they just look like such a loving family, it looked much more down to earth and accessible than your typical breeder that you know they're doing 5,000 puppies all the time and you're like what is this situation so I just messaged them and they messaged back right away and they said you know this is the situation with the dogs we have a couple dogs and we actually wanted the girl dog who it looked like wasn't available um, but she ended up being available so we FaceTimed with them the next day and just you know dove into a ton more research and what I loved about this family too is they live right in my hometown this is a litter that they were just having for their own family for a lot of um, their children and they have a few more dogs and it kind of all just happened what I also loved is that they let us talk to their vet and so one of my suggestions is is definitely go online and do your research. There are so many different websites that are so informative about what questions you should ask breeders, um, you know, what questions about the breeds you should know, what questions about when to take them home, what to do, what types of food, their shots, everything. So I went down this huge checklist and we just kind of fell in love with the family right away and I think they really loved how prepared we were. So they are holding two dogs for us. We're so thankful for that. And we're gonna go see them now and kind of see who we vibe with and we are fully prepared to take one home today. And I can't, I literally can't believe it. I've wanted a dog for so long and we got all of their 
things we ordered on Amazon. I'm gonna share in another video all of the supplies we got and all of the costs too, if that's super helpful to you. I know I would have loved to see that and I learned so much from other YouTubers of you know the breakdown. So we're, we'll share that with you in another video coming up. I'm also very thankful because I contacted my friends and family to see if they had any suggestions and what was really cool is some of them have stuff that they're giving to us. So one of my friends is giving us these two little cute dog bowls and leashes that were from a dog that we used to take care of named Winnie, and if any of you guys know me, you know Winnie. I have such a heart for Winnie, I'll, I'll put her picture right here. So that'll be really sweet, and also just saves a lot of money. I highly suggest ordering your stuff off Amazon and doing your research because it's literally about half the cost as it is versus getting um, your supplies from a pet store. It's easier to have things in advance and prep you know, if you know you're going to, to, to look at, you know, or to planning on having a dog in the near future, you know, it doesn't hurt to have everything in advance and ready to go because it's going to be a very exciting time. It's going to be a very changing time. It's, there's a lot of factors that go into it. So you don't want to have this extra chore of going and picking up, you know, a couple of toys or some bedding or if you plan on crate training or you know, the, the leads and the doggy bags for, you know, for, for picking up messes and, you know. Yeah, there's like so much to it. And a lot of people I talked to said, oh, we just got the dog and then got all of her stuff. And I just think that's just crazy to me and my type A personality. I just think it's, you're going to feel so much better. I feel very, even though I'm excited, I'm very calm right now because I do know we are prepared with what she needs. And obviously if there are other things she needs, we'll just go with it and, and you know, add as we go. But I just would feel so stressful if we didn't have anything we needed and we had to run to a pet store and spend a ton of money. And we're very aware of how much everything costs. And that is something to be prepared for with these types of dogs. They are more expensive, but I'm like, they're gonna be a member of our family forever. Seriously, they're never gonna die. The other thing that we really wanted to know about was a lot of information about the mom and the dad. The dad is actually smaller. His name's Dexter and he's 16 pounds. The mom is named Dixie and she's 22 pounds. So the dogs should fall into that kind of um, weight category between 16 and 22 pounds, which I love. That's the perfect size for us. Again, it was very helpful talking to for the you. vet. <laughs> for me, I like smaller dogs. I like Medium. Dogs. I know. So it's a perfect balance. These are not So it's really helpful talking to the parents and what I love about just meshing with this family too is that we are totally going to have puppy play dates where the little our little baby gets to see their mom too when we come to Cleveland so I do love that and I think a big thing is just making sure you jive with the dog as well and that you are prepared to handle the responsibility and there's so much you can learn on YouTube about crate training, potty training and all of those things so I just feel really ready and I'm glad we waited until now to get a dog versus another impulsive time that I wanted a dog. So, all right, we're gonna take you along on the journey. I'm probably not gonna be my bring big camera because we're gonna wanna stay calm. The one thing that's gonna be hard for me is staying calm. Alan knows I just, I freak out when I'm around dogs, but that's why dogs end up liking Alan more and I hate that. So I need this dog to love me equally if not more <laughs> because they always love Alan and I literally can't stand that I'm jealous I get jealous very quickly but um I do want to show you guys I have a little mini bag prepared and in this bag I have a little collar for her um like I said we're picking up her leashes and bowls from Lauren and then we have the family said bring a little towel so we have a little towel and we have a little blanket and I just brought one little toy just in case um, just to keep her calm we probably you know won't use it or might not need it but the whole thing today is driving with the dog and for me trying to stay calm <laughs> and she is going to meet my dad and Lauren but the big thing that they said is making sure that they're not around other dogs because they still have other shots that they need with their vaccines um, coming up in a couple weeks. So we just 
want to make sure you keep them away from other dogs and kind of keep their world right now very small. Um, and that's something we're just keeping in mind. We kind of baby-proofed our house, got rid of all the cords on the ground, created a little space for her or him. So I just want you to know, little puppy, if you're watching this in the future, you are, you are loved. All right, guys, the next time you see me, I should have a dog, hopefully. Ah! Hi guys, so we have our sweetheart in my hands. I have so much to tell you. They are definitely very scared and nervous right now. I'm just gonna show you a little sneak peek. They are trembling and so nervous. But I have some surprises for you because did this little munchkin sneak up on us? You gotta go with your gut, man. Okay guys, so the big news is that we did not get the girl dog. Isn't that wild? We actually just bonded so much with the smallest of the litter, little boy named Coda. And we just got to Lauren's house, one of my best friends. Hi. You are so cute. Oh, hi little baby. Oh my gosh. Welcome to the family. This little cutie pie was just the most loving and just fit right in with our family. Oh my gosh. He's got little white on his belly. He's got little white on the top. And he's so tiny. He's he? five pounds. Where he looks he? big when I go zoom. There it is. But he's actually so tiny. There it is. Yeah, very gentle. It's, He's very, very they gentle. They said of the, like, they were worried about him feeding because he was never aggressive about it. Like, so the other ones would bolt in and he'd just kind of be like, all right, when's my turn? <laughs> you know? No so, the smallest. Hey, you're so cute. Yeah, puppy teeth, careful, they're sharp. Nice. It's so perfect. Guys, oh, that's my baby. Gina was home. Oh. Look at you walking! Oh. You walk so gracefully! Look at you, little. Oh, look at your hands! Go oh. run! Oh, like I can't believe this is our dog, Alan. Oh my God, guys! Do you want to see the cutest thing ever? Because you're gonna die. Because I just died. Hi, baby Luca. Oh, he's maybe cold and scared. <laughs> it's a combination. All right, guys, so we are leaving Lauren's house right now, and we are so excited to share his official name. You ready? Meet Luca. Hi, baby. Little Lou. So Luca in Italian means Alan. I believe we looked it up, and it means bringer of light which just warmed our souls. But honestly, it was also pretty much the only boy's name we had picked out because <laughs> we really were convinced we were gonna bring home a girl. So basically how this happened was we met all the puppies and they were so precious. Shout out to this family. They are just so sweet, the Garcia family in Westlake. Um, if they have another litter, I will definitely keep YouTube updated um, because this was just the most lovely, seamless experience with them ever went to their house, we got to play with the puppies outside and meet the parents and they had a whole little kit for each dog to take home which was so cute with like, I'll show you later when we get home. But what was so great up to us at least about not just like picking a dog before we met them was to really see how we interacted with the dog and a lot of people told us and Alan said to see who picks you right like you'll pick the dog but they'll also pick you right Alan mm -hmm. so uh, we really love the other dogs but I just really vibed more with little little Luca bear and you'll get to see more of him later but Alan was open to any of them so we made the decision and it was such a seamless exchange. And like I said, we already talked to his vet. We know all about his 
kind of needs and desires but we'll talk to you more about the process and show you what we got and more when we get home for now we have a lot a bit of a two-hour car ride he is kind of like whining and nervous but it was nice to him nice for him to play in Lauren's yard and that was his only interaction we kind of wanted today besides us we're keeping his world super small and even Lauren was surprised that I'm being very calm with him I just think that's because this is such a big change for him. We really want him to love his new little family, right, Alan? Absolutely. And um, there's going to be so much time for us to be wild and play around. But today, we just want the transition to be super simple. Like I said, we already have all of his supplies at home. We are going to set up his crate because that arrived late um, and just kind of get him adapted to little life in Columbus, Ohio. Look how calm he is though. He is so precious. Sleep. And he, is he sleeping? Oh yeah. Oh my gosh, he's sleeping. All right, we'll catch up with you when we get home. Luca baby. Hi Luca baby, do you know your home? Luca was so good on our car ride. He was so calm and peaceful and loving and we FaceTimed with so many people. And now we're just gonna be super calm and peaceful, bringing him inside. We did stop at a rest stop to let him go potty and he did such a good job. And now we're gonna bring him inside, set up his new little home. You ready, baby? He's like, Oh no, we're going to stay away from those dogs. <laughs> I don't know what I'm ready for. Uh, he's already so loved. That is a fact. Right, Alan? Absolutely. Come here, bud. Absolutely. Oh, Alan's such a good little dad dog, too. <laughs> oh my god, he's so cute, guys. I highly recommend already. Day one. Hour three. Highly recommend. <laughs> blanket we took him home on obviously this is his, this bed is pretty massive but it's because obviously he's going to grow probably triple or quadruple the size um but yeah he's just passed out i think it's just been a lot i honestly was nervous for him taking him away from his sister i mean obviously i couldn't even imagine being taken away from my family so i think that's why i've stayed calm all day because I just want him to feel loved and to feel like, okay, I'm going to a safe environment. Um, a lot of people have commented, oh my gosh, why are you so calm? I'm like, because I want to be calm for him. So that's definitely something I'd recommend. He, yeah, seems to just be so happy. We only saw one person in person with Luca and then we just FaceTimed so many people just now. So I'm kind of beat too. But um, our crate just arrived tonight and it did arrive late or else we would have had it completely set up so we got a crate that has a little divider in it so you can actually make it smaller for when they are younger and smaller and then make it bigger for when they grow into it so this is really cool this is on Amazon I will link it below and we have a little bed that's gonna go inside the crate that is um, ultra soft and machine washable and this is kind of like the one he um, was sleeping on with his little family and we have a little dog stuff with some of his fun stuff this basket is actually from the family which is really cool but this is just some stuff um, we have a crate cover that we got and this is gonna go over the crate I thought it would be nice for privacy and just feeling just more safe and comfortable. And we have little doggy bells and we have his food and bowls and things like that. And these all kind of came together in an Amazon package. It was like not that expensive at all, but I thought they were just like cute little starter, um, little starter fun little toys. And yeah, we're gonna set up his little and oh my gosh, he's waking up right now. I think he knows the camera's on. Hi, baby Luca. How you doing? He, my family is so excited because they have dogs too that are nearby. 
that are excited to meet Luca. We are not going to meet any other dogs because obviously he's going through that shots phase. So in three to four weeks, he will be fully vaccinated, right, Alan? Or soon he'll be fully? Uh, something like that. I don't yeah. remember exact time. Yeah, so in two to three weeks, he gets his next shots. He's still very tired, but he's just so precious and so sweet and He's already just so loved. He has no idea what's in store when he meets his little cousins. But yeah, those are kind of the only little friends we're gonna see because we know they're all fully vaccinated and safe and the best dogs and everyone loves his name. So that makes me happy too. But this has been such a nice experience. I could not recommend this family more if they end up doing another litter. And I think my biggest takeaway, honestly, is going with your gut instinct and what dog you vibe with because I really thought I was going to end up with the girl. Like, we barely gave any thought to any boy names because we're just like, we're getting the girl. Her name was Shirley. She was so sweet in pictures and sweet in person, but just not my style. And Luca is totally my kind of dog and just so sweet and I don't want to wake him up. So I'm going to end our little mini go mini golden doodle vlog here. But like I said, we will be posting a video of all the different supplies we got and how much everything costs to just kind of help everyone out for anyone who might be getting a golden doodle and wanting to know what to get, the best types of stuff. And we will be updating you on with pup vlogs coming up because I love watching other people's pup vlogs. So I think that'd be fun. So if you haven't already, can you say subscribe, Luca? Subscribe. You gotta figure out his voice. Subscribe to the channel. Click the notifications button so you never miss a video. And we're gonna just take you along on this beautiful, beautiful journey with our new little baby pup. All right, thanks so much for watching, guys. We'll see you next time.